First apartment. Dog named Bella. Boyfriend, TJ. With the sweet ride and the bad secrets. Exit TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to RTC TV4. My name is Dakota Hayden alongside with Blair Zimmerman. How are you doing tonight? And we will be your co-commentators for tonight's varsity girls matchup between the Casting Comets and the Winnemag Warriors. Absolutely. We've got about two and a half minutes until start time out here tonight. Both teams out on the court right now warming up, stretching, getting ready for some good basketball. Yes, yes, I've, I've heard a lot of excitement from uh, various people around the community uh, about the uh, ladies that will be on the floor tonight. Um, evidently, we have a, a really fantastic freshman to keep our eye on on the Winamax side of the floor. Oh, yeah. So uh, we will definitely, definitely look forward to some good basketball tonight. Sweet. Thank you, and please enjoy the game. And it looks like we're... We've got uh, some veterans lined up that are going to be presenting the flags for the anthems tonight, Dakota. Awesome. So, ought to have. Just looking like a real class act that we're getting ready to see tonight. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you joining us. We look forward to bringing you the, the ins and outs of tonight's game. We'll be back here in just a few moments after a word from a few of our sponsors tonight. Thanks for joining us on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And the American Legion Post 71 present our flag while the national anthem is performed tonight by the Winterback High School Band.
Thank you also to our veterans. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be getting underway here very shortly. And uh, I believe, Dakota, that uh, we may be having some Winamac fans joining us on the air tonight. Oh, really? Glad you're joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize. We will likely comment with a little bit of a uh, bias towards our cast and comments. Uh, you know, it's all fun and games, but we'll give you some credit where it's due. Absolutely. Always credit where it's due. And here are your starting lineups for tonight's game. First, for the cast and lady comments, at guard, five foot, sophomore, number three, Aubrey Dagg. Aubrey Dagg, number three, coming in as starting guard. Lane Oliver will be across from her, number 15. We got number 21, Ashlyn Klein. Number 25, Brianna Hubenthal. And at center, number 35, Jordan Klingler. Of course, we can't forget Coach Don Helmick. Of course. Ooh. And the Lady Warriors tonight. We got number two, Jillian Brum. Number 14, Haley Sanders. Number 15, Laney Joseph. Twenty-two, Erica Brogdon. Number twenty-four, Maggie Fr Maggie Smith coming in at center, and uh, looks like she's pretty evenly matched up there with Jordan Klingler as far as height's concerned. It'll be an interesting game then at the post. So that carries over. And the ladies taking out to the hardwood, ready for the tip. <laughs> Waiting on the officials just to grab the game ball. That transition's been made. Let's get this underway. Let's play some basketball. It's up. And it gets to the Lady Comets for first possession. Hubenthal crossing the midline with the ball, getting over to Dag. Dag gets sent it back over to Hubenthal. Interchanging off to the side. Going over to Klein. She thought about popping a three. I thought she was going for the three. She'll go for a two instead. Off the mark and rebound by the Lady Warriors, number 22, so Erica Brogdon. Down in Lady Warriors territory. Warriors trying to try base, couldn't get anything going. Oh, I the thought they get intercepted. We've got a three attempt. It's off the mark. They saved it, but out of bounds. Out of bounds still. Comet yeah. ball. I won't swear, but that, that number 15, Laney Joseph, was that freshman that I was talking about earlier. All right. Full court press by the Warriors starting off the game tonight. See if um, the Comets can handle that. Cuban thought with the attempt. Off the mark. Lady Warriors with the rebound again. So far, they're dominating on the rebound. And we both know how critical those rebound shots can be. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, we saw a lot of that last weekend and Ugh. saw the tide that it turned. Both Fine. teams lining up on a 2-3 zone here. Warriors trying to get a play going, getting into the post, put up two. Off the mark, rebound by Lane Oliver. It's over to Dag. He's going to go over the mid. Send it over to Hubenthal. Now trying to drive in. Lost the ball down on the floor there. When you've got triple coverage, it's, it's real hard to get that dribble going. Is it just me, or does it seem like starting this off, both teams are really rushing it back and forth? Like yes. almost they're trying to get the score before the other team can even get there and set up. Because that's the second time the Warriors have tripped out on the ball, and then the Comets haven't had any success going on to the other side. 
It might be just, I don't know. First observations, but that's it certainly certainly looks that way. Three. Open three from number 22. In and out. 24 there with the rebound puts it back up. That was uh, two points for Maggie Smith. Dag losing control of the ball for Comet's possession. Hubenthal will take it out of bounds. Giving it right back to the Lady Warriors underneath their own goal. Set out for three. And it's good. So, that was a quick five points there for the Lady Warriors. Coach Don Helmet calling a timeout. With that, we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Thanks again for joining us tonight here on RTC TV4. We'll be right back. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And we're back. The ball is just inbounded by the Lady Comets. Ashlyn Klein slowly making her way across the midcourt. Passing it over to Dag. They can give it back to Klein. Got to get over mid. Launches it, trying to get over to Klingler. Eubenthal saving it, getting it back into Dag. I'm kind of surprised they didn't get hit with the backcourt violation there. I guess the only reason they didn't was because they weren't able to get a hand on it on their court. I would assume so. Eubenthal, double coverage. Works her out of bounds. Winnemac coach Croft over there, really emphatic. <laughs> hey, refs, she's out of bounds. Well, we've seen across the season that uh, the Lady Comets don't respond well to heavy coverage and full court presses, and, and obviously the Lady Warriors have seen that in film as well. Uh, definitely, two, yeah, definitely using it against them. Two more points on the board for the Lady Warriors. Eubenthal hit with the travel on that double coverage. At this point, it's becoming a concern whether or not she lets it go to her head, Dakota. Um, where there's been a couple of, of off plays, and it's another three ball for the Lady, Com or for the Lady Warriors. Now with a 10-point lead at, at just over three points of play time. Had a foul called on the floor. Foul was called against number two, Julian Brum of the Lady Warriors. It's her first team first in the dubious honor of game first. Eubenthal sending it back over to Degg. Check it in. She'll cross mid with it. See if the Comets can get anything going here. Gets it back over to Eubenthal. And to Degg. Even at the top of the arc. Eubenthal. Those yeah, Lady Warriors are definitely not letting the Comets into the paint. Ashland with the drive. She gets to the paint, puts it up off the mark, and Lady Warriors with that rebound. Warriors are swarming for that rebound. I don't think Klingler had a chance to get in there to get it. I think she got a hand on that two-point attempt. It's a two-point attempt or a pass. Regardless, Klingler got a, got a hold of it and prevented whatever was going. Right, there was a block shot attempt there. Uh, Eubenthal. Eubenthal got it. And it looks like the, she's been called with a charge. Not no. blocking foul. Blocking foul on number 14. Haley Sanders. Her first, team second. 
Oliver looking to check it in. Trying to find someone open, gets it over to Klein. Klein on base, going for two. Off the mark, and the Lady Warriors once again with the rebound. Lady Warriors dominating the boards tonight. Wild throw up for two. They're able to cover. Off the mark, but gives them an open three attempt instead. Still off the mark. Dag. Aubrey Dague with that board. Loses control of it right as she's getting ready to transition up for the layup. Like I said, I think they're rushing it too much. Absolutely. Absolutely, and they're going to start panicking. Uh, we've seen that throughout the season, too. You, you can just about see a, a slump shoulders and, and lowered heads, and, and they, the Lady Comets can't do that. <laughs> Foul there on uh, Lane Oliver, number 15. She's going to send number 24 to the line for two. That's Maggie Smith going to the line for, for oh, an attempt oh. at two. First, First shot. shot's up and off the mark. We got number 11, Emily Holt, checking in for Lane Oliver. Emily's been, uh, she's, she's been fighting some health issues here recently and, and hasn't seen any play time in the last several games. And the second point, or the second shot was good. Number 24, Maggie Smith. Clyde oh. getting over to Huventhal, just barely breaking out of the double coverage. Well, and I guess, you know, I, I have to modify my last statement. We didn't cover... Holt with a three-point attempt, and it's good. Two. She oh. stepped in. Two. It looked good. It looked good from here, but no, it's just two. But that's all right. Lady Comet's still on the board. Of course, the Lady Warriors responded in kind there. Travel on Klein. Uh, as I was saying, uh, we didn't cover Thursday's matchup that the Lady Comets went to, and so I, I can't swear that Holt wasn't there. Three-point attempt off the mark. Lady Warriors with the rebound. Send it for a two. They get the two. Dakota, if we're going to trade four points for every two, it's not going to end well for the Lady Comets. Not at all. Human thought trying to make a pass over to Klein gets knocked out by one of the Lady Warriors. That'll keep it Comets ball, but no movement at all. Klein getting over to Huventhal again. She'll take it over mid. I see, and there's that rushing that you've been talking about. Over to Klein on the three-point arc. She's going to take a long two. It's short. Out of bounds. Lady Warriors ball. Lady Warriors taking across the half. And popping a long two. Off the mark. Klein with that rebound. The Klein send all the way to Klingler, put up a two. There we go. It's good. Lady Warriors looking to respond to Klein. Trying to get it in the post. Taking it back out to the arc. Trying to find a move. Top of the arc trying to bounce it into the post. One up two. Off the mark, Lady Warriors with that board. Out of bounds as she tries to save it. Lady Comets ball. Klein checking it into Hubenthal. Blocking foul on Lady Warriors 24. Would be it's Maggie Smith. That's her first, oh. team third. Results in all of about 20 feet of movement with the ball. <laughs> Eubenthal. Getting up the dribble, getting over to Dag. Dag needs some help. Tried to get to Eubenthal. She wasn't there where she needed her. Oh, uh, backcourt violation on that. Lady Comets just struggle against a full court press. And you were right saying that they were getting a bit anxious and messing up simple stuff. There's a word that I've used from, from this booth so many times during the season. It's fundamentals. fundamentals. If, if you don't. If, if, there, if, there it is, like right there with that travel on climb. Exactly, exactly. And we've got number 22, Sophie Jellison, coming in for Ashland Klein. Um, but yeah, if, if you're not going to make solid passes, 
if you're not going to make open shots. Two point attempt by Lady Warriors. She gets it. Like that. Right. You're just not going to succeed in this game. Bad pass right there to the Lady Warriors to get up for two. The hole again into Dag. The full court crest is killing them. Dag just throwing it in the air to try and find someone. Lady Warriors again with the two. That's been like six points in the span of 30 seconds. Boy. A hole with the ball. So this first quarter, I, I feel like it could be more closely associated with ancient Rome Coliseum. It has been a bloodbath. I, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Just under one minute left in this first. Ball <laughs> bouncing right off the of Degg's feet. Holt tried to recover it. It's going to be a jump ball. Lady Warriors crossing the half. And we can see we can see that they just they've lost any sense of urgency. They don't they don't need to be rushing that basket. Right. They, they've got they a got 17 point lead. They can take the points they can get. They can slow down, make good passes. Shot attempt was off, but it was open shot attempt. Another attempt by number two for the Warriors. And just drain it, leaving the Lady Comets with... Ed right there, uh, steal from the Lady Warriors right out of Huppenthal's hands. Travel. Lady Comets have 10 seconds to try to get just a couple more points up on the board before the end of this period. Holt getting it in over to Degg. Degg tried to get over to Holt, couldn't get it. Lady Warriors were right on that pass. Let's try that again. Degg. Man. First period is in the record books. And those record books did not speak highly of the Lady Comets' this first period. Well, we're going to let the uh, ladies all take to the sidelines and talk strategy for the second period while we step away from a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. We'll be back. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, sorry folks, a little bit of a technical glitch here on our end. Um, and we are just joining the action though as it restarts here in the second period. Lady Comets trying to get something going. Close up this 21 point deficit that they accrued in the first period. Dag trying to get a password to Hubenthal gets stolen by the Warriors. They're just taking their time on the side of the court. No need to rush. At this point, it's the Lady Comets who need to feel a sense of urgency. And I'm afraid it's going to lead to some sloppy mistakes. Lady Warriors, though. All right, and we're back as the Lady Comets try to make it into their court and do something productive. Eubenthal for a three. On the mark, on the money. All right. And, and I guarantee you that's what, that is what Eubenthal needed right now. All right. Lady However, on the, on the defense, they're still leaving open shots. Dog pile under the basket. Jump ball, still Warriors. That, that wasn't for lack of trying. Mm -mm. The Warriors let me check it in. Trying to get something going. Klingler getting in on the, intercepting that pass. 
That is the shortest amount of time with two-player contact that I've ever seen before a jump ball was called. Yeah. But Comets will get the ball, so. Oh, getting over to Dag, trying to get over to Huventhal. It's no good there. Uh, Winamax number 22, Brom, she intercepted that. And they were able to uh, utilize that attempt uh, for two on the board. Holt, getting it into Huventhal. Aggressive defense there, it just knocked it out of bounds and, and we're, we're seeing that again. The Lady Warriors, they're, they're making contact with the ball and uh, whatever momentum's been built up, it's just going, keeps going out of bound. But it has the net effect of, of icing any momentum that the Lady Comets wanted to build up. Klingler, looking for help. help. Yeah. Get over to Huventhal. Huventhal looking to put up for two. No good. Klingler gets that. Klingler gets the board. He goes to put it up, draws a foul. She'll go to the line for two, but Huventhal hit hard. Foul down there was on number 24. It was her second, but we're still trying to. Huventhal is still down. She must have come down on her head. Right, Coach Helmick out there to check up on her. We've had the rest of the ladies leave the floor. Dakota, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I don't know either. She's up under her own power, ladies and gents. <laughs> Leaving the court unassisted, that's... <laughs> On her head, I'm not sure if that'll be, if that'll be the game there for... Miss Huventhal, but we shall see. Ashlyn Klein going in in her stead and will be taking the shots. Klein at the free throw line. Shots up. First and shot. It's on the money. All good. Let's see if Klein can hit the second one never necessarily a bad thing when you can send a senior shooter in in place of a freshman shooter. Not necessarily. <laughs> Second <especially>. shot's on <laughs> the money. Especially one with the uh, free throw percentage that Ashlyn Klein has. True. All right, Lady Warriors down, looking to recoup those points, and they do so. Solid pass, makes a solid play. Two points for the Warriors. Holt crossing the midline. Double coverage, she needs help. Warriors gets the ball the stripped ball right, right out, out of her hand. Yeah, high on the uh, layup there by Lady Warriors. Playing they're getting in for a jump, jump ball. ball. That'll be white ball. Lady Warriors retaining possession here. I'm, I'm trying to think back over the season and the games we've covered, and I'm not sure we have seen such an aggressive team matched up here against the Lady Comets. Not that I can recall off the top of my head. Foul there on number 11, Emily Holt. Ball back in play. Lady Warriors losing it. We had a foul called here. I was, uh, it was a very close thing to go out of bounds. It's on Lady Warriors number 15, Laney Joseph. Klein getting over to Holt. Take it back into play. Holt sending it back over to Klein. And the Holt trying to beat this full quarter pr um, press. Holt over trying to. Long pass over to Klingler. It was just 
I see what they were trying to do. I'm not sure it's the best strategy, but I've got to say, you know, we're we're here with a 22 point Lady Comet deficit, and the kind of aggression, the kind of uh, defense that's still being played. Travel there on the Lady Warriors, by the way. I I almost feel like the Lady Warriors in the in the locker room before they came out said. We don't want to beat them. We want to embarrass these comments. I, it's looking like it, honestly. And, you know, honestly, being in the same conference and the proximity between Fulton, Indiana, and Winnemac, Indiana, mm -hmm. we, we do have a little bit of a small-town rivalry going on. True. It, it's not outside of the realm of possibility for that to be the intention. Backcourt violation here as Holt was trying to pivot around and make a pass under triple coverage. Number 25, Ali, oh, 24, my bad. Ali Weezy checking in for Sophie Jellison. It, it would do my heart good to see number 25 check back in. We're getting a human thaw, but. Yeah. I, she she that. is just on the sideline on the bench, so we may see her yet tonight. All right, clean block there. Unfortunately, less than clean block on that attempt. Number 12 will be going to the line. And that was a foul on number 35, Jordan Klingler. She was in there to guard the post, though. She was on top of it. Just fortunately gave him the two shots. First shot's off the mark. So at the very least, she cut the scoring potential in half. So the second one goes. Shots up. Still it's off. Off the mark, and Klingler gets that rebound cleanly. Looking for somebody to take the ball. It's over to Dag. Dag. Oh. It's over to Klein. Klein putting up two. Warriors getting a hand on that shot. Off the mark. Weezy oh, yeah. on the rebound. Out on the Warriors. And we've got number 24, Maggie Smith, coming back in. Looks like she's substituting in for number two, Jillian Brum. Lady Ashlyn Klein outside for the Lady Comets, looking to get it in. Bounces right off of Aubrey Degg and sends it out. Lady Warriors will take the ball again. Balls across the midcourt into Lady Warriors territory. Go for two. Get them open at the post. and Solid plays. Got to give them that. Easy passes. Easy two. Out on the Warriors. Giving it back over to the Comets. Brian trying to find someone open. Lobbing it mm -hmm. over to Dag. Way over the top. Mid. Dag threads the needle there. Putting it up short. I think she hesitated on that yeah. shot. Lady Warriors now. You got a foul there. That's going to have to be on Emily Holt. That'll be her second already. Foul on Holt. Warriors getting the ball in play. Long two. Open long two. And ball's down. Let's jump. Lady Comets had gotten a hand on that rebound, but just pushed it away rather than taking firm hold. Number 22, Sophie Jellison, is subbing in for 11, Emily Holt. Jellison getting into Deg. Deg looking for Klein, gets it to her. She crossed the mid. Oh, and she just, she went wide on that dribble and got swiped right from underneath there. Out on the Lady Warriors though, so Comet's ball still. Jellison. <laughs> Looking to get it into somebody. Throws it to nobody in the paint and uh, the Lady Warriors take advantage of that for sure. Coming up for two. Off the mark, Lady Warriors with the rebound, jump ball. 
Moving it back to the Lady Warriors. All right, ball back in play. Two point. Off the mark, still on the rebound. Day getting in there to swipe it. Sending it over to Weezy and over to Klein. Klein trying to figure out what she's going to do here. A little mishap on the dribbling there. He goes right back to the Warriors. Aubrey Degg handing out a foul there as, as the Lady Warriors number 10. Ashley Keller, or no, excuse me. Blake Bailey. He's going for the shot. She'll go to the line for two. First shot's nothing but net there. Second shot's up, it's off the mark. And we had an over the back foul there on Lady Warriors oh, number 15. Laney Joseph, that's her second. We'll give it over to the Comets. Jellison to check it in. Looking for someone. Trying to get over to Klein. Klein with the double coverage. Loves it over to Jellison. Jellison over to Dag. Dag getting hit with the double coverage. Right on the line, too. She tries to send it into Klingler. No good. Warriors will take it back to their side. Real quick. Again, they're, the Lady Warriors are not slowing anything down. They are looking to just continue stretching that lead as this first half winds down. And there's two more onto it. Just two and a half minutes remaining in this first half. We've got a jump ball down here. Lady Comets will retain possession and we've got number 15, Lane Oliver, going back in, substituting for Ali Weezy. Shoes are tied, the game will resume. <laughs> Gotta make sure the shoes are tied. Jelson, getting into Dag. Dag tripping in that triple coverage. Handed it off to Jelson again. She'll take it across Jellison's, the mid. Ooh, oh. drawing the foul, went down hard. She's back up. I was gonna say Jellison's not typically a oh, ball handler. Joseph. That foul was on Laney Joseph again. That'll be her third. And she'll send Sophie Jellison to the line with that one. Jellison at the free throw. And we have number 14, Haley Sanders, substituting in there for Lane Joseph. Number two, Jillian Brum, substituting in. 22, Erica Brogdon. Brogdon, there's only one O. <laughs> if you're having the pleasure of listening to us commentate for the first time tonight, <laughs> I will butcher everybody's names. Shots off the mark. Jellison doesn't get the second. Lady Warriors making quick down for a three-point three. attempt. Jellison on the rebound. She's going to go out. Ouch. She's doing a pretty good job of drawing those fouls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll send her back to the line. Comet's sitting with the bonus, so she's getting that. Yeah, that foul there was on shots. number 20, Courtney Kopka, and that's her first. And uh, Warriors coach sending Brogdon back in. Shots up. Off the mark and the Lady Warriors with the rebound. Lady Warriors trying to get into the post. No one there to get it. Klinger on the rebound for the Comets. Delson over to Oliver, over to Degg. Day giving it back to Klein. Just under two minutes left in this half. Klein looking to do something with it. Sit over to Oliver right along the sideline. Oliver is trying to bounce it inside, and, and her defender kicked it out. Oh, 
Yeldson looks so open, gets to Klingler. Jump ball, Klingler goes down hard trying to get it back. And that'll be Lady Warriors possession. Winnemack cheer block over there, Jazz eating it up. Out of bounds here, bad pass. Lady Comets will get possession back just over, or right at 94 seconds left in the half. Now, not to cast dispersions or anything, but I'm just not certain that they, they can make up a 25-point uh, deficit here in 90 seconds. I'm not... Turnover on the floor. That might put further uh, truth <laughs> to that statement. And there we are right at a 29-point lead for the Lady Warriors. Flying across the mid for the Lady Comets, going for... And that makes my math still bad previously. That would have been 27 Ooh. if we're now at 29. Hi, guys. I Blair, I math good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ashlyn Klein on the line. Looking for double digits, Klein. Shots up and good. Should there we go. Another one. And we have uh, number four, Jasmine Rudisol, substituting in for number 22, Sophie Jellison. Second shot for Klein. Let's see if she can leave him without even a rebound attempt. Right on the money. Boom. Lady Warriors again hustling down to their court. Now, if there's one thing about Jasmine Rudisol, she is aggressive. Definitely, she may get in foul trouble really quickly, but she's gonna make the Lady Warriors work for everything. All right, foul on that shot. I mean, at, at this point, you know, that's about one of the best things you can do. If you got that much of the lead, at least work for the rest of it, you know. <laughs> right, foul there on number 21, oh, Ashlyn oh. Klein. And that was not a shooting foul. Going for the two. It's good. Holt taking the ball over to the mid to Comet territory. Going to drive in. Send over to Klingler to put up a two. She draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. Foul on Brum. The foul was on number two. It's Jillian Brum, her second. Klingler puts up the shot, off the mark. Just off the front of the rim. Substitution on the Winmax side, number 20 going in for number two. Substitution for the Lady Comets. Number three, Aubrey Degg in for number 11, Emily Holt. Second shot's up, just off the front of the rim again. Oliver trying to get on that rebound. Thought that the Lady Comets were gonna get it. Twenty-two seconds left here. Lady Warriors, I don't know if they're gonna pass it around and just stall a little bit or if they're gonna look to Ooh. bump their lead by two. Ooh, hard fall there by Lady Warriors number ten. Man Oliver. Oliver gets the rebound on that shot attempt. Klein getting over to Dag. Four seconds on the clock. Is it back over to Klein? They'll put it up for a long three. And it's good right at the buzzer. Alright, alright. We'll take that. We still, though, go, the ladies are going to take to the locker room with a halftime score of 40 to 14 in the Lady Warriors' favor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a bloodbath this first half. We're, uh, we'll be back here in just a few minutes to uh, see what the second half holds for the Lady Comets. And until then, I'm Blair Zimmerman. I'm Dakota Hayden. And this is RTC TV4. Thanks for watching. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors.
The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with just about 30 seconds until the second half starts, we are back with you. Thank you for joining us. If you have just tuned in, uh, you can see there by the scoreboard, it was a very brutal half for the Lady Comets. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So. Definitely no off days for the Lady Warriors. Even with this lead, they're still hitting them just as hard as if it was an even matchup. Absolutely. Continuing with the full court press, I just crossed the board. Now the second half started. I don't know what words may or may not have been said in the locker room. Dag looking to get it over to Oliver. Heard a whistle. A quick timeout by the comments to start this one off. With that, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back with you. Thanks for joining us tonight on RTC TV4. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get cheerleaders off the floor and start <laughs> and get the game back on. I think they were thinking it was a full timeout. It would have been a little bit disastrous if we had a play going and like. I'd have laughed. I, I would have laughed too, I'll be honest. On the other hand, I don't believe that countered for a play. The attempted inbound just glanced off of the intended recipient on the Lady Comet side and out of bounds it went. Lady Warriors, first possession of the half. Find an opening put up for two, but get on no good. it. Good, Klingler with that board. Solid command of it, hands it off to Ashley Klein. Klein crossing the midcourt. <laughs> Popping a three. Just off the mark, and Lady Warriors get that rebound. Overall tonight, the Lady Warriors have really uh, commanded the boards. Ooh, I'm not sure. We had a jump ball. Lady Comets possession. And uh, Lady Warriors possession. All I know is I saw somebody pancaked and, and the home crowd wasn't happy about it. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that one either. But either way, I just get the layup for two. And right, then good. coming back right on with the full court press. Aubrey Day getting it down into Comets territory. Fine. Trying to go up for two. Warriors got a hand on the ball. But that's going to send her to the line. Foul on the play there, number 22. Brogdon. Erica Brogdon. Going to send Klein to the line. And as we've seen so far this game, Ashlyn Klein's not the one they want to be sending to the line. Nah, she's got a really good uh, free throw percentage going on throughout the entire of the season that we've seen. Entirety of the season, tonight we can speak at 100%. Yeah. And she continues the trend. I was afraid with that much uh, revolution on the ball, it was gonna find its way <laughs> back out of the rim. All right. Emily Holt desperately trying to get that ball. The Warriors a bit. Bit of a mess up on the pass. I think they ended up taking it out. I uh, know. I think uh, that ended up being a foul there. Yes, on Lane uh, Oliver. <coughs> she rushed over there to try to get that ball before it went out of bounds. Is what it looked like. Instead, ended up just wrapped all around. Lady Joseph for 
Clean passes by the Lady Warriors, getting it in for the two. Hey, getting it back to Klein. Klein's going to cross the mid. Going all the way through, trying to get to Klinger. Got it to Klingler, who's under heavy coverage. Couldn't quite make the shot She's happen. She's on her own rebound. Jump ball. Lady Comets will retain possession. Holt. He's looking for Klein. Ended up getting it over to Klingler. Klingler's shot was short, though. Lady Warriors popping for a three. Off the mark and I'm not sure who the foul ended up being on. Lane Oliver is going for that. Oh. Foul on Lane Oliver. That's her third and she's racked up two of those really quickly here in the second half. I do question the official's call on that one. Unfortunately, uh, we have no say. <laughs> That's not our job. Okay, we, we had foul. We've had a technical foul called here on number 15, Lane Oliver. I don't know if she was running her mouth at the official. Uh, she she doesn't look like she really cares that much. Mm -mm. Coach Helmick discussing with the official what we're doing here. Looks like Helmick's going to take her out. And it's number 24, Allie Weezy, coming in. I'm, I'm not sure. I thought I saw the official mouth flagrant foul. I don't know if something happened down here away from the ball. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not uh, sure. And at this point, we don't have instant replay. So at home, you may have a better idea than we do. All right, that first shot's good. Second shot also good there. Winamax number two, Jillian Brum. Oh, and she gets two more shots. Well, now I really wish we could go back and watch the tape. Yeah, because, hmm. Third shot's good. Fourth. Fourth shot's good. That's not the best way to lose four points when you're already down. And after all that, it's still the Lady Warriors' possession. Lady Warriors. Went for an opening bit off on that pass. We'll send it out of bounds. I'll tell you what, Dakota, when we're between the uh, girls and boys matchup, I'm going to go back and watch that. That was right around the one hour mark. I'm going to see if I can find out what happened there. Yeah, a hold with the ball for the Lady Comets on their side of the court. She's trying to get moving on the base, put up two. Off the mark. Klingler getting a hold of it, and I think she'll draw the foul, putting her on the line. Foul was on number 24, oh, Maggie Smith. That's her fourth. Winner, shooting the free throws. Maggie Smith now just one foul away from being out of the game herself. First shot's up. Klingler unfortunately has a perfect record this evening as well, Dakota. Uh, but not in the way you want it. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right. Substitution for the Lady Warriors, number 10, Blake Bailey coming in. Second shot's up. It is off the mark and... Number 12 there, Keller with the rebound. The Warriors bring it back to their side of the court. <laughs> Trying to get it into the post. Drawing the foul, go to the line for two. Foul was on 21, Ashlyn Klein. 
That's her second. Erica Brockton, shooting the free throws. Shots up and good. All right, Lady Commons looking for the rebound here. Shots off the mark. Allie Wheezy with that rebound. Hands it off to Klein, who's going to try to get down to the Comets into the court and do something. Top of the two. That's good. And Lady Warriors on the offense, outrunning Lady Comets defense to the Warriors into the court. Off the mark on their layup, though. Klein bringing it back over to the Comets side of the court. Send it over to Dag. Dag sending it back to Klein, trying to get something going. Way over to Emily Holt in the post. Her shot's off the mark. Klingler with the rebound. Couldn't quite get on it. Dag's going to take it back out and get it back to Klein. Good screen there by Ashlyn Klein. Holt just about forgot that dribble. Klein trying to get into Weezy to put up two. Weezy at the post. All right, Lady Warriors with the answering points. Their lead now sits at 31 points, Dakota. Still playing that heavy full court press. No off day for them. I guess Guess it's a good way to treat it. Just every game, just, you know. Ashlyn Klein maximum effort. trying to run through the double coverage and uh, goes out of bounds in the effort. <laughs> All right, Lady Warriors ball inbounds. Dag trying to get in on that pass. And draws a foul for her effort, or gives a foul for her effort. That's her second. It's team fifth in this half. We'll uh, rapidly getting to where we'll be sending the Lady Warriors to the line. Lady Comets leaving some open, open shots there on the arc. They weren't taken advantage of, but completely open. Popping the two. Off the mark and Wheezy with the rebound. The climb. Climb looking to drive in a bit, trying to get over to Wheezy. Klingler getting on it. Drawing the foul. She'll go to the line for two. And that foul there was on number 14, oh, Haley Sanders. Sanders. That's her Sanders second. At the free throw line. First shot off the mark. Number four, Jasmine Rudisol, subbing in for number three. Aubrey Dagg. No loss of aggression with that. Klinger getting the second shot in. All right. From back at the studio, I just got word on that replay that I haven't had a chance to watch. Uh, and uh, Lane Oliver had thrown an elbow. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't see that from up here. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, she actually threw an elbow and then shoved Winnemac player. So, no question that she earned that technical or that flagrant foul. Yeah. Um, and she just still down in the huddle doesn't look upset about it at all. It, nope. Not sure. Well, with that, we have both sets of cheerleaders on the court right now. I'm going to assume that this was a full timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors, and we will be back in just a moment on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. 
Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, and the ball back in play. Lady Warriors. Going for an opening. And all the way to the top of the arc. Going to drive in. Open two. Just slightly off. Klinger trying to get a hold of it. The Warriors put up another two. Couldn't quite get it. Hold on the rebound. It looks like got a Lady Warrior down over here. She's up. All right. Excellent. Got a little bit of a hitch in her get along. Klein getting it over to Holt. Thomas possession. Holt getting hit with the double coverage. Trying to run him off. We got a foul on. Uh, foul there on, on Ashlyn Klein. That's her third. Lady Warriors will take possession of the ball underneath their hoop again. Ball checked in to Lady Warriors, number 10. With the deficit that the Lady Comets are in, I'm, I'm going to be honest here, Dakota, I really, really won't be surprised to just see more and more fouls as the night wears on. It's, At uh, this rate. I mean, foul there on, on Jordan Klingler. That's her second. We have uh, number 14, Brianna Young, subbing in for Klingler. That's a bit of a height difference. Oh, well, she won't be at the post. We've got Wheezy and Klein at the post. Shots up and good. Second shot's also good. All right. Klein getting over to Holt. Still Holt. working around that full court press. Ends up taking it out. I think that Wait. I think the ref said it was out on the defense. Yep. I just missed something there. Klein lobbing the ball over to Holt to take it over the mid. Well, that'll work. Lay up just off the mark. Wheezy puts it up for the follow through. Lady Warriors now, putting up for two. Off the mark, but they get their own rebound. Rudisol. Oh, Hold on, number. Number 14, Sanders, that's her third. Klein getting over to Rudisol. Rudisol losing control of her dribble. Ah, went off of the went off of the defense, so she didn't get hit with a backcourt violation. However, she shoved her defender. Not allowed to do that. So that's a foul there for Rudisol. That's her first. Well, I, I don't think I've ever said her first for Jasmine Rudisol in the third quarter, Dakota. I don't. Open three there on the money. Three by 
That was number 12, Ashley Keller. And a failed inbound attempt there by the Lady Comets gives it right back to Winnemac in their court. Out of bounds there on Emily Holt. And we have number three, Aubrey Degg, subbing back in. Subs in for Emily Holt. Ball in play there. Lady Warriors Shots with two. Up. Off the mark, Wheezy fighting for that rebound and gets it. Klein taking it across the mid. Driving towards the paint, loses the ball. Day getting in there to get it back to Klein. Klein giving over to Wheezy to put up the two. It's a quick form of event. The in-house announcer sounds like he's hissing every time he mispronounces Alley's name. <laughs> Shots up, good for three. Klein. Trying to get over to Dag, a bit of a mishap on that pass. Lady Warriors popping another three. And it's, it's good. This, this is this, this is just rough, rough. We're, we're now sitting at a 39-point deficit. And we had a, a foul there. Foul on number 14, Haley Sanders. That's her fourth. She now in foul trouble. Ashlyn Klein gets it into Aubrey Digg. Aubrey Digg tries to lob a pass over. And Sanders knocks it back out of bounds. They made it a few feet down the court. Klein looking for someone open, gets it to Rudisville. Tries to get over to Digg. Intercepted by Keller who puts up a layup. Shoving foul there on uh, Aubrey Degg. That's her third. Keller on the line, in and out. Rudis on the rebound. Getting over the mid. Is it over to Klein? Klein looking to drive in, put up for two. Off the mark, and Bailey there with the rebound. Driving down for the layup. The Ooh, into heavy coverage, and that's going to be called a foul. Foul on Ashlyn Klein. That's her fourth. First shot's up. Off the mark. Substitution for the Lady Comets. Jordan Klingler coming in for Ashlyn Klein. You know, Dakota, I didn't have an opportunity to talk to any of the coaching staff at the half to uh, see if we get an update on Brianna Huminthal. Yeah, I wonder how she's doing. I don't think I see her over there on the bench. Second shot's off the mark. Lady Warriors with the rebound and makes it good. There's Honestly, with a hit like that to the head, and we haven't seen her in at all in this half, and given how critical she's been to the Lady Comets, uh, program this season. I, I imagine that she's probably out for the game and quite possibly yeah. concussed. Well, that's the third period over. Lady Comets now sitting at a 43-point deficit as we step away here on RTC TV 4 for a word from our sponsors. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. 
We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Team's still on sideline in their huddles. Officials also conferring on the floor. Meetings of the minds. The ladies taking the hardwood for the last eight minutes of playtime in the game. And I see Brianna Young out on the floor. The Lady Warriors will get things underway for this fourth period. The Warriors open drive. Send it back out for a long two. Swingler was trying to get in on that. That shot was off the mark. Aubrey Dake going for it. And I'm sure that was a foul on her. That's her fourth. She's now in foul trouble. Ashley Keller shooting the free throws. Keller to the line for two. First shot off the mark. Just off the front of the rim. You know, speaking for myself, yeah, I'm not sure if, if I want the, if if that's better or worse. Because when you're when you're just way off, you airball it. You, you just know you didn't have a chance. Right. I'm not, I'm not I am so sure what's confused going on as to right what's now. going on down here. I was thinking a second shot, but it looks like we got a full timeout going on for... for from, on, from Kasten. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on RTC TV 4. And we're back. Uh, as the Lady Comets attempted an inbound, it was intercepted. Lady Warriors uh, weren't able to capitalize on that, and it's gone out of bounds. And you're up to speed as Emily Holt drives. Draws the foul. That'll send her to the line. Now the foul was oh, on Depoy. That's her first. Shooting the free throws. I believe that's a new name on the, or in the game. Holt squares up for that first shot off the front of the rim. Lines up her second shot. That's and it's good. good. Maybe it's wrong of me to say, but at this point I almost feel like that's a Band-Aid on an amputation. Yeah, at this point, I'd, I'd agree with you. Lady Warriors up for a two. Off the mark and Holt with that rebound. Holt with the he double coverage. Still on the double Forced coverage. over to the base or the sideline. Ball stolen there by number 15. Puts it up off the mark, but she gets her own rebound. Young getting into Holt. Holt sending it over to Klinger to put up two. She gets on her rebound, goes up again. And that's good. The Lady Warriors trying to get into the paint. And they do so, short jumper for two. Going it over to Dag, who's hitting on that double coverage. Went off of Degg's leg as the Lady Warriors were trying to steal it. Lady Warriors ball. Ball in play. The Warriors and into the paint. Triple coverage. Travels. Good clean play there by the Lady Comets under the basket. Young getting over to Deg. Across the mid. I'm amazed. That was a full court press that actually left somebody open that time. Deg needs some help. Keep off on the Lady Warriors. 
Still number coming three, forward. Aubrey Gearhart coming in for the Lady Warriors. She'll be substituting for number 15, Laney Joseph. Young looking for someone open. It's a Derudisol. Derudisol trying to trying to make a play. Gets it over to Klingler, who's out of the post. Send it over to Young. Young looking to drive in. Draws a foul. Foul is on number three. Gearhart. Young will go to the line for one one. Shooting the free throws. Shots up and good. She'll get her second attempt. Shots up. Off the mark. And the Lady Warriors with the rebound. Just under six minutes left in the ballgame. Lady Warriors moving that ball around, looking to extend their lead even further. A little bit of a mishap, keeping a hold of the ball, gonna call it jump. I think that actually Brianna Young got her hand in on there and just couldn't quite steal it. Lady Comet's ball. Young, look at someone open. We got a foul here. Foul was on the Lady Warriors. Number 32, Depoy. That'll send Jasmine Rudisol to the line. As you can see from the foul count, it's been an aggressive half. Shots up it on the good. money. Get her second attempt. Second shot off the mark. Allie Weezy trying to get that rebound, couldn't quite get to it. Lady Warriors back to their side of the court. Open. Popping up a long two. Off the mark, Jordan Klingler doesn't quite cleanly get that rebound. Jump ball, it's gonna go to the Lady Warriors. Boy, looking to get it in, gets it to number 30, and puts it up for a short jumper. Dag crossing the mid for the Comets. Looking for someone open to make a move. Aubrey trips there, they're gonna call that a travel. I think she was looking to drive, but Rudis was trying to cross in front of her. Bit of a mishap, miscommunication there on the court. Looking for a shot. And we had a foul here. Foul was on number 30, foul on Jennings, Jennings uh, for the Lady Warriors. That's her first. She threw a shoulder. Possession going to the Lady Comets. Dig. Over someone open. Gives it over to Wheezy. Wheezy. Doesn't get good control of it. Jump ball. Possession will go to the Lady Warriors. Lady Comets. I feel like the Lady Warriors have gotten an, a, a slightly higher than half of these jump balls, um, which is not the way it's supposed to work. Uh, no. Young getting over to clean there to put up for two. It's open to get it up. Lady Warriors looking to answer that too. And off the mark. 
Had a rebound by the Lady Warriors. There was a foul drawn. Foul was on number four, Jasmine Rudisel. It's her second. And we're going to send Haley. And they said Jane? Jennings. Is it Taylor Jennings? Taylor Jennings. <laughs> Taylor, Haley. You know, with a headset on, it kind of sounds the same. Yeah, yeah. First shot's up off the front of the rim. Substitution here. We've got number 13, Olivia Boldry, going in for Brianna Young. Jennings putting up the second shot. Textbook. Rudisol checking it into Degg. She'll cross the mid with it. Degg trying to get over to Klingler. Warriors Pat. intercept. Yep, pass wasn't quite fast enough. Had a three point attempt off the money and Rudisol with that rebound. We're still getting over to Dag. Ooh, out of foul, out of bounds. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, it was a foul. Dag will be going oh, to the God line God. for two. Foul on Courtney Kopka, number 20. That's her That's second. Hey, this is look like one of those games that, that those passes need to be so hard you don't want to be the one that's on the receiving end. Right. And the passes haven't been that hard. Mm -hmm. Shots up and it's good. Let's see for a second. Second shot up off the mark, and Lady Common or Lady Warriors with the rebound. My eyes said Warriors, my mouth said Comets. Yeah, welcome to Zimmerman commentating. <laughs> All right, Lady Warriors, Lady Warriors open, open three. Three. Off the mark, and Brusel with that rebound into double coverage. Loses control of the dribble. Amazingly, amazingly Winnemac relents there. Into Wheezy, Wheezy with two. Right at a 40 point deficit for the Lady Comets with just over three minutes left in the game. Lady Warriors, long two. Off the mark, Degg with the rebound. Degg launching over to get to Klinger. She'll send it back to Degg to put up the two. Off the mark and jump ball under there. Now this should be the Lady Warriors. And we've got number 12, Ginger Slisher, subbing in for Jordan Klingler. And on the Winamax side, number 40 substituting in for number 12, and I don't see a number 40 on the roster. I do not either. Such is life. Ball into the post, and Aubrey Day with a clean steal. Drawing the foul there from number 30, oh, Jennings. Jennings. That'll be her second, and Aubrey Day will go to the line for a couple shots. Aubrey Day at the free throw line. First uh, shot off the mark. Second shot, just a little long. Wheezy going for that rebound. Got tied up, but it went out of bounds off of one of the Lady Warriors. Comets ball, Slisher, looking to get it into someone. Gets it to Weezy, up to two. Off the mark, Boldry with the rebound. Either lost control of it, 
or a bad pass. Regardless, Winamac looking for the jumper, draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. And the foul was on number 13, Olivia Boldry. That'll be her first. First shot off the mark. Second shot was good. Lady Comets will take it out of bounds. 2.22 remaining. Dag crossing mid again. On the drive. Hesitated, looking for somebody open. Got the ball stripped. Jump. Should be a jump ball. Lady Comets get possession back. Ball into Ali Wheezy. Ali was looking to get a, a short jumper in there and got tied up there. Jump ball. Send it back to the Lady Warriors. Into the post. Double coverage, triple. Everyone's in on there. <laughs> Aubrey Day got a hand on that as she was turning, as uh, Lady Warrior was turning around and uh, just kind of stripped it away. It went loose there. Day giving over to Baldry, over to Slisher. Since we're trying to get back to Day, she's able to recover it. Sends it over to Rudisol. Rudisol getting it over to Slisher, trying to hang on to it. Slisher draws the foul there. She'll go to the line for two. Foul was on number 40. First shot up, off the front of the rim. Second shot. Off the mark. Wheezy with the rebound. Puts it up. It's good. Draws the foul. <laughs> foul was on number 30. And Jennings. Let's see if she can get that and one. Uh, just off. Lady Warriors now bring it back to their side of the court. And up for the two. Off the mark. Dig with the rebound. Gets stripped right out of her arms as she turns around and tries to dribble. The Warriors putting up for two again. Weezy getting a hand in there. Out of bounds there as uh, number 30 tries to get a hold of that after Weezy swatted it down. Dig across the mid as the Lady Warriors have finally relented on that full court press for a play. 58 seconds left. Day getting over to Weezy, put up for two. Off the mark and the Lady Warriors with the rebound. <laughs> 40 seconds left and the Lady Warriors look to finally be slowing it down just a little bit. Long two. In and out. We're on the rebound, putting up again for two. Still Off can't get mark. it. That ball went all over the place. Jasmine Rudisol ended up with it, and she's driving down to the Comets territory. The entire Lady Warriors on her back. Day getting over to Weezy. Put up for two. Shot's no good. She'll go to the line. Foul was on number 30. Oh, Jennings. Shooting the free throws. Shots up. It's good. Second 
Second shot. Off the mark. Lady Warriors with that rebound. Ten seconds left. Popping a three. That's good. Just stretching that lead out to 41. See a ref indicating a foul. Foul was on number 40. It's going to send Aubrey Degg to the line. Shots up, and it's good. We'll get one more. Second shot up, and it's on the money. Lady Warriors with two seconds left. Couldn't do anything with it, but at this point, they really did not need to. Uh, the Lady Comets tonight falling to the Lady Warriors, 79 to 40. I, I mean, I got no words. That, that, hard to watch. It's hard to watch. Yeah. Three words there. If you're a Warriors fan and you're joining us tonight, congratulations. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Everybody else, thank you so much for watching. I'm Blair Zimmerman. Along with Dakota Hayden and... Uh, we will join you later on tonight in a boys varsity matchup against Winnemac in the comments. But for right now, we're going to go off and uh, get some sponsors in and hear from advertisers. So until then, we'll see you all on RTC TV4. Thank you for watching. Cheap furniture. Nice game system. New job. Steady girlfriend. Wedding. Dog that serves as a practice child. Little kid. Little kids. Oh. Big kids. Big changes. <laughs> so, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood.